guys, welcome back to Fragments of a Simple Life, where every video I make is super simple. Please excuse my attire today. Um, it's Black Friday, and I usually spend the day at home on Black Friday, um, decorating for Christmas instead of participating in the shopping experience. I want to do something a little more casual and face-to-face -face today as I show you some of the decorations that I've been pulling out from the garage. I wanted to go ahead and show them to you guys before I actually put them up in my house anywhere and use them. So I have a whole bunch of <laughs> Christmas junk sitting next to me. I'm going to just go ahead and get started. The first thing I have is a burlap Christmas tree. It has a little bit of sparkle. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I got this, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before but it was only $3 at Target. And um, I have a lot of new trees this year that I've been putting out, but usually um, for the past several years, this one has gone um, on my dining room table as part of my centerpiece. I don't know what's gonna happen this year. I also have this little guy. It's like a bottle cleaner Christmas tree. It has a little square peg bottom. This is also from Target. I think this was like one dollar. It sits kind of crooked these days, but um, I think that just gives it character and charm. It's like a dark plum purple and um, kind of fuzzy feeling. I love it. It's going to fit in great with all the rest of the trees I got this year. And I actually forgot that I bought this last year. So when I was going through my stuff, that was a very pleasant surprise. I also wanted to show you this little sign. I don't know where I'm going to put this this year, but again, has three of my major colors, which is the magenta, the green, and the turquoise. And then along the edges, it has the magenta glitter. This was also three bucks from Target. I got this last year. The background is white, which I love, and it has three silver accent stars. It's basically all of my primary um, decoration colors in one little sign. Ho, ho, ho. I love it. I could not pass it up when I saw it last year. I feel like last year they had way cuter stuff than we than they did this year. Um, that's just my opinion, Target. No offense. <laughs> okay. Excuse me while I bend down and put that down. Now my stockings. I have this color. It is like the mermaid sequins where like when you rub up, I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like a silverish gold color. I have um, four because there's four people in my family. There's two of this color. And then I also, let me throw that down there. I have two white ones, which if you brush up, become gold. I'm not a big fan of gold, but I remember last year, which was my first year having these, um, my daughter would go up to them and at least brush one up so it looked gold, which actually didn't bother me because it makes it look like a, like a completely different thing. But I have two of these and two turquoise and every year I'm just going to ask my daughter which color she wants to be and we'll figure it out from there because I try to do a pattern like turquoise white, turquoise white. So um, we have two of each. Those are our stockings. If any of you have watched my other Christmas videos, remember I said I'm very non-traditional, as you can obviously see, very minimal, like green and red. Let's see, I got these lights. I haven't even used them. That's why I'm opening them right now. But these are one count string lights, six feet long requires two AA batteries. These were $5, but I got these on clearance at Target um, after Christmas. I think they were like $1.50 or something, you guys. That's why they've never been used. I don't know where I'm gonna put them this year. Um, probably on my mantle or something. But they're just too cool not to pass up. I'll pull one out so you can see. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if the camera's focusing, but isn't that cute? It just shines like a white light inside. Um, I'm definitely going to be using those this year. I really think I'll probably put them up on the 
mantle. Since they take battery, I don't have to worry about like, oh, what am I gonna plug it in? And there's gonna be wires dangling. It's gonna be look, looking weird. I can just hide like this little battery pack like behind something else, and then just click it on and click it off at night. So I'm excited about those because I haven't used them yet. And let's see, another thing I got on clearance after the holidays were over are these really cute gift tags that I thought the design and the color were just so right up my alley. Make it merry, little snowman, snowflake, all these cool funky colors. It was like a dollar thirty. So when I bought it, I'm pretty sure I got it for thirty cents, you guys. And it's a pack of twenty-one. So that's plenty, especially um, this year. We're not buying a lot of presents because we're our kids don't know, but we're going to Disneyland in January. So 21 is gonna be plenty for gifts for them. I also have these really cute, excuse my reach you guys, vintage ornaments. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. They're made out of wood. We have Santa, we have Nutcracker, and I'll show you what they do. Isn't that the funniest thing? <laughs> and this one too does the same thing I got these for my mother-in-law I think but um, I don't know if they're from her childhood I'm really not sure oopsie sorry nutcracker but they always manage to find a place on the tree um, because they're just too funny and I like a little touch of, of vintage every now and then who doesn't right Okay, now I love owls, so I thought I would show you just a couple of my owl ornaments. This one, he has really bulgy eyes, he's glass, he's kind of like a darker brown in the back, and he has like silver wings. He's old, my mother-in-law bought this guy a while back ago for me, but I love him. He goes on the tree every year, he's very strange, very strange looking, but... I appreciate it. I also have, hold on guys, I have these two. This is actually a set of owls. Um, I just grabbed one just to show you what they look like, but they come in like turquoise and um, magenta and I think purple too. Um, but yeah, those go on my tree every year. I've had these for several years. I actually got these in like the dollar section in the um, front of Target several years ago, at least three years ago, maybe even four years ago. It was like three dollars for like a tube of eight of them. I was like, um, yes please, owls and my colors. And then this little cute guy, he's old. He's kind of missing some wings on this side, but um, he still goes up in my tree every year. I love him. So glittery, humongous eyes. He's just too adorable, right? <laughs> he's the cutest one, I think. I think he's gonna look very good in my white tree. And speaking of white stuff, this is just part of what I put on my mantle. Um, trying to give the illusion of like a sparkly, pretty snow. Um, I have a couple different pieces of this that I kind of like interweave across the mantle um, and then I'll put like the trees in between and the deer and stuff like that and kind of make it look like an outside scenery but with like really weird textures and colors. It's just me. <laughs> it's just who I am. But I got this one I think at the Dollar Tree and it works perfectly fine especially because I'm not wrapping it around anything so it's not getting um, a lot of like bends or like tears it kind of just gets gently set upon the mantle and then taken down again it doesn't go wrapped around anything so it's lasted me for a very long time and I don't think I've lost a single white piece off of it it works perfectly fine and it's um, metal inside so I can really like bend it and twist it to um, to be whatever I need it to be, so it works. That's that. 
couple more things, guys. I got this again on clearance after the holidays were over last year. It's something that I really wanted to buy, but I couldn't like justify it at the time, even though it was cheap. It's only three dollars a pack. But after Christmas was over and everything was like 50, 60, 70 percent off, I bought four packs of these. This is a little puffy ball garland. It has like a turquoise, like a lime green, pink, purple, red, regular green, and it has bells. Let me see if you can hear it. There's actually little tiny, tiny bells on it. Um, I found this in a box of Christmas stuff. Totally forgot that I purchased it. I bought an all white tree for this year, um, cause that's just how I roll, with white lights. And I was like, I have to put these on the tree. So I'm hoping, how many feet is this? It's not very long. It's only 72 inches each. I'm hoping I can find a way for all four to be enough to wrap around the tree because these little colorful balls are gonna pop on a white tree. I think if it was a green tree, they would get kind of hidden, especially the green ones. But I think on a white tree with white lights where there's like not a lot of color to look at, um, I think these are gonna look so good if it's enough. So. That's what I'm going to experiment with today, and I'm hoping, because I'm never going to be able to find any more of these, um, I don't think. I'm hoping four packages is enough, but they're just, they're just adorable. I'm very excited. It's fun when you forget that you buy something, that you bought something, and then you find it. Um, yay. <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, another thing I have here that I thought would just be kind of fun to play with on camera is beads. Now a lot of you are probably thinking those aren't Christmas, but in my house, they are. I have a miniature white tree that's actually already up and on my uh, coffee table right over there. I'm looking at it and I'm going to string these since I'm not going to put lights on that tree because it's right in the middle of my living room and where am I going to plug lights in at? I'm gonna put the beads on instead, all around it. And it's a plain white tree, and then it has a little star on top, and the star is this color, and it has a mini tree skirt, and the tree skirt is this color. So um, it's gonna look really, really good. And then it has some like turquoise gemstone um, ornaments on it, and uh, once I'm done decorating it, it looks kind of scarce right now over there, but once I'm done decorating it, it's going to be pretty cool. So, I know I'm probably going to have to fight my daughter because she's going to want to just play with these just for the sake of playing with them. But I think this might actually be too much for my tree, like too long, because it is a mini tree. I think it's probably like a two foot tree or less. Um, you know, it's probably about two feet. Sorry, I'm really looking at it right there. But, um... I think there might be some left because it's quite a bit of beads and I think it might be too much so she can play with it, decorate her room if she wants um, after I'm done. I might do a video on my Instagram channel or I'm just playing with these beads. That might be something that I do this weekend because it's just fun. Anyways, I have one last thing to share with you guys. Or two, actually. One's right next to me. This is my Christmas blanket. I'm just going to hold it over my face so you can kind of see. It has turquoise and purple and red. A couple different shades of green. Uh, my mother-in-law got this for me, I think at Walmart. I'm pretty sure because she lives in a remote area and that's the only store near her. So I'm sure that's where she got it. But it says Merry Christmas, Seasons Greetings, blah, blah, blah. It says Holly Jolly, Deck the Halls. Pretty much all of the Christmas terminology you could possibly use, it says it on here. Ho, ho, ho. But this is like my go-to blanket that just like sits in the corner in my oversized chair in my living room. Um, and it's part of my decoration. Again, has most of my colors in it. Has a little bit too much red for me, but... 
it has all the rest of my colors so I can't complain too much and last but not least I have one of my favorite if not my complete favorite piece that I've ever bought check her out I hope you guys can see this on camera this is a pink or I should say magenta like velvet sitting reindeer she has lights they don't light up it's just for decoration but she has lights in her antlers she's wearing a ball necklace which is going to match the balls that i'm going to put on the tree that i forgot i bought and last year she sat dead center of my mantle she is my prize piece and this year i think she's probably going to sit in the same spot because Although I do have a few new deer this year, which I showed in a previous video, um, there's really nothing cooler than her, in my opinion. She is the coolest thing I've ever owned. Again, I got this at Target last year because, just my opinion, but last year, for people who like whimsical decorations like me, they had way cooler stuff last year, in my opinion. Um, and this is one of the things they had. And I swear, you guys, I think that was only 10 bucks. It was like shockingly cheap. And she's heavy she's like the real deal I'll probably have this thing forever but um she's my inspiration she just screams Christmas to me in the funnest way um, when my daughter saw this she was like oh my god we have to get it and I was like yes <laughs> I really freaking agree so um, I'm going to be decorating today with all these goodies that you guys saw and I'm sure I'll do um, another video um, just maybe give you a tour of how the tree turned out and how the big balls looked <laughs> if that turned out good and what the mantle looks like and all kinds of stuff and elf on the shelf came back last night in our house so I'm gonna be having to do that every night just getting into the Christmas spirit here you guys um, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing some of my Christmas decorations um, and forgive me for my mom bun if you'd like to see more daily ASMR videos from me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you later. Bye!